Welcome to Excel at Data Mining. My name is Billy Decker. I'm a business intelligence consultant that works for StatSlice, a consulting firm based out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're going to talk about how to connect to a SQL Server data source in less than five minutes using the data mining add-in for Excel. So you don't actually, uh, to start off, you don't actually have to use the data mining add-in sample data table. You can actually just do uh, this particular one from a blank Excel sheet. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the data mining tab and we're going to go to create a mining structure like we normally do. I'm going to click next here and now we're going to go down to the external data source here. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to actually add in a data source and then we have to connect to the actual data source here and we're going to name ours um, SRC Adventure Works DW2012. Um, my uh, adventure, my adventure work CW 2012 is saved locally, so that's how we're going to connect to it. We're going to use Windows Authentication, and then from the catalog dropdown, I'm going to actually select Adventure Works DW 2012. And you don't need to ever test connection if the catalog names pop up, so you can just go ahead and hit OK. So now what we've done is we can see we populated a whole bunch of different columns and tables over here on the left hand side, and it's a uh, it's pretty much everything that's in the AdventureWorks DW2012 database, but the one that we are interested in is right here, this vTarget mail. And now the data in vTarget mail is very similar to what we've had, what we've been using so far in our add-in sample data, except it's a little bit richer. It has about 18,000 rows as opposed to only 2,000. So we're going to go ahead and pull all the columns here and then we're going to hit OK and we can see that it actually it pulls all the columns over to the right side and lists them and then it actually puts a query here and we're just going to go ahead and hit, hit OK and it's going to populate here and so simply hitting next we're not going to change anything we're going to leave that at 30 percent and then hit finish so right now while it's actually training the structure we've already done everything to actually connect to a SQL Server database and pull the information into Excel using a query. So now what we're going to do is we're very quickly just going to add a naive Bayes model um, to our mining structure we just created. So we're going to do that in the usual fashion. This is the uh, structure that we just created right here. We're going to do the drop down for Bayes. We're not going to actually change any of the parameters down here. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of columns here and we're going to get rid of ones that we do not need for this analysis like address line one is not necessary, uh, customer ultimate key is not necessary. Um, this can actually also be done when you're building the structure. I just skipped over it so we're so I'm going to do it now. Um, just coming down here we don't need French education, we don't need French occupation either. and Spanish education and Spanish occupation are not necessary either. And that, oh, we're also going to take out email address also. And that is everything, so go ahead and click next here. Oh, we need to uh, see, that's a nice thing about this, is it actually reminds us that we did not select an actual column to set to, to actually make a prediction for. So we're going to change bike buyer to, from input to input and predict. So then go ahead and click next and then click finish to process the model. And as usual right here pops up our mining um, browser and it has all the things that we've talked about before except now we actually we have a little bit richer of a data source. So we can see here on this dependency network how we have a lot more connections than what we had before using just the DM add-in sample data. However, uh, that's, that's everything right there. So now you know actually how to connect to a SQL Server database in order to be able to do data mining within Excel. Thank you very much.